The Ministry of Health MOH and Health Sciences Authority HSA are closely monitoring the use of energy stick inhalers in Singapore amid concerns that young people may get hooked on them. Speaking in Parliament on Monday, March 4, Senior Minister of State for Health General Putucheri noted that young people are being targeted on social media by the marketing of such products, which come in various flavours. We will continue to evaluate these products to ensure that they are not adulterated with harmful ingredients such as nicotine as they evolve, and we will take the necessary actions to protect public health. He added, Energy sticks are inhalers that claim to give users an energy boost. They contain ingredients similar to a conventional nasal decongestant inhaler. Dr. Janel was responding to questions from members of Parliament Yip, Hon Wang and Zalkanan Abdul Rahim, who asked about whether the ministry has studied the effects of such inhalers, their use among young people and whether there is a need to treat the products like vaporizer and e-cigarettes. CNA reported last month that in Malaysia, there is growing concern among health experts in Malaysia who worry that, like vaping, the sticks could become a gateway to drug abuse. A trend of children using energy sticks has also been reported in China. CNA's search for energy sticks on Singapore e-commerce sites Shopee and Lazada revealed several listings. Starting from as low as about one Singapore dollar and sixty cents, one US dollar and twenty cents. Common brands were Skyvi, Nikor, Corzone, and PEK. Flavors included mint, various fruits, and the energy drink Red Bull. The listings claimed that the energy sticks contained essential oils, natural ingredients, and safe plant-based extracts. They also advertised that the inhalers could be used to counter sleepiness when attending a class, studying, driving or working overtime. In Malaysia, health experts have said that the energy inhalers may contain lead, mercury, menthol and nicotine that could be harmful to the respiratory system and lungs. They also warned that the inhalers open the door for children to develop addiction to other products like conventional cigarettes, e-cigarettes and illegal substances like cocaine that are inhaled.